JHXC is a sellout. So Konka has an official YouTube channel. It has that badass Steam trailer, it has this weekly series of top 10 Konka clips where people send in clips of them being sweats and then they get featured. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's literally all the official Konka YouTube channel is. Just top 10 Konka clips. Or at least for the longest time that was the case. But apparently, about a month ago, the Quanker channel started a new kind of series called the Top 5 Mods and Maps. And there are already two episodes of it, and it's pretty much as the name implies, right? They showcase five different custom maps and five different custom mods. And they explain the concept behind them and why you should check them out, alright? Very simple, very easy to understand. And I do like what this series is trying to do, alright? It's something I'm willing to watch and I'm willing to look forward to, and I do think it has potential. However, there are some decisions and other things in these videos that are kind of questionable. Not enough to bring the videos down, like they're still good, but they're just... <laughs> well, you see what I mean, alright? Specifically with the map side of things. Now, I can't really speak on the mods because I don't really do mods outside of map mods, so I'm focusing more on the map side of the vids. So if there's some issues with the mod side, then... You're not going to see them here, right? The first episode isn't too bad, right? The maps showcased are mostly mainstream, top of the line popular maps. Like Flood Escape, Laser War, right? You've heard about all of these maps, most likely. I know the selection of maps in this video may be a little bit disappointing because they're, you know, a little bit... They're basically the maps that everyone knows about. They're way mainstream and... Yeah, I would have liked to see some newer, more underrated stuff like Ryoko or, you know, Monochrome maps like that. Or maybe some of the game comp entries, but honestly, this is their first episode, and why not start off with the most popular maps, alright? After all, this is the official Kunker channel, so... Yeah. The only map I kinda question being here is why they went with Crunk Story over Aim Room. You know, the most popular map of all time since 2018, but... I guess Crunk Story is better, technically, so... Yeah, sure, whatever. The placements are fine, alright? There's no zombie or Kara Bega Hembakar maps in sight. Yeah, mostly mainstream maps, but great ones at that. And the narrator does a good job at summarizing what makes these maps great and why people should play them, alright? I'll give them credit for production value, alright? These videos are pretty cleanly made. Although something odd I've noticed is when they showcased Minecraft Vill, which is the goat of maps, alright? It's the best one, period. They had the textures off in the footage, like the Minecraft textures well, I mean, the logs in the houses are showing, but other than that, it's all just default crunk. And, yeah, they did enough research to mention, you know, the secret, but they didn't get the textures right. Like, the most important part. But, but whatever, right? The narrator did the map justice enough, so, yeah. The first episode, random weird things aside, is good. And I'm satisfied. And with the second episode, it isn't too bad either, but just... Some weird shit in this one. For this selection of maps, they took a different approach, where instead of just some of the most super popular maps from like KB or JVB Hop, they covered some of the entries of the recent game competition. Games like DQ's Battle Boats, A Trucks, and my very own Saucer Labs. Yeah, my Saucer Labs game managed to make it into this video, which I'm flattered to say the least. But something to note is that the narrator states that, well, he says this. This map is a single player top down puzzle game built with Crunk Script. Crunk Script. Crunk Script. What? <laughs> yeah, that's misinformation, alright? I don't know where they got Crunk Script from, but yeah, Saucer Labs does not use Crunk Script. Like, at all, alright? It's pure triggers and Crunk Editor magic. And it came out before Crunk Script was a thing, anyways, so. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. I did, it made it into the video and I'm happy with that, but. I just don't know where the Crunchcript thing came from, right? It's just, just wanted to point it out that, you know, they lied, right? It doesn't have Crunchcript in it. But yeah, overall a decent selection of maps or games or whatever you want to... Wait. Well, no, 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 no. They didn't. They did not. Yep, they did. They did. They featured a KR Beg Ahem Parkour map. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, the fourth map they featured was a map called Finer Parkour. 
Nice grammar, dude. And it's as blatant a riff off of JVB Hop's fun parkour as ever. Right. It has all the coordination boxes and the fucking jump boosts and the skips and the lazy parkour that you'd expect. Right. It's pretty much the textbook definition of a KO bag a ham parkour map. The same kind of maps I've been talking about this whole time that I absolutely hate. Alright, now a lot of people are giving this video flack for this, understandably so, but I'm actually going to play the devil's advocate here and say that I kind of sort of get why they put it here. I like it or not, which let's be absolutely crystal fucking clear, I don't. These kinds of maps do have a place in Crunker, alright? Crunker kids do like these maps because they are stupid and dumb and colorful and everything, alright? And Crunker kids like stupid shit. They like dumb shit, and they like colorful shit, alright? It fits a specific target audience that, even though I'm not a part of, it is growing, and it fits it perfectly, so, sure. But of all the maps you could have picked, you could have picked Ryoko, you could have picked Monochrome, or Behop Dreams, or literally any other parkour map that is actually fun, and isn't just advanced KR backing. But no, they, they went with this. Yeah. Way to go, inspiring the same KR spam shit that is ruining parkour maps already. And it's just so funny too, like, you have all these professionally made games from dedicated Conquer map making teams or solo map makers, and just slammed which in there is this random KR begging map, like, <laughs> what the fuck? just so random. This next map is for all you parkour lovers out there, and it's fucking for all you parkour lovers, what do you know? Jeez. Yeah, disagreements aside, most of which are admittedly biased. I do like these videos and the possibilities of the series, at least in theory, right? They highlight and showcase community content that has been making the rounds and they promote these to the Quirka community at large. And it is a sneak peek into the massive scale of the map making community, to people who may just play pubs and never really gotten into custom maps, right? And the fact that this is on the official Quirka channel really gives the series potential. So maybe later down the road, instead of just doing the most popular maps at the moment, they could maybe try doing lesser known, underrated gems to try and bring attention to some of the smaller creators. Obviously, I do have problems with how they executed this in these past two episodes, but I do think if they were to do just a little more research or have someone in the map making community who knows his or her or their shit help with things, they can really knock this out of the park and the series would be a huge help in promoting map makers and the map making community at large. Even if the videos don't get nearly as many views as the weekly top 10 conquer sweats, alright? Just please, to the team, if there's anything you should take away from this video, no more KR Beckham parkour maps. Please.